Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is department wise permission for dining menu. So in my previous video for dining menu, I have shown you user permission, page permission. Now in this video, I will show you department wise permission for menu according to user department. Like you have admin, HR and accounts department. So which all menu will be there in these departments and user will be allowed to see these menu only in which like a user is having a particular department so only that those menu will be seen in his menu so let me show you demo for hr you can see there are two menu user add.php and salary generate.php so both are displayed in menu and if you will check for accounts there is only one menu that is added salary paid and that's just one menu is displayed so that's what i'm going to create in this video so let's just get started with our video so i have removed all the code from my previous video that is for permission and now you can see only these three menu I have and I'm displaying that in my menu and if I'll show you my code in code also you can see just that is menu query and menu icon and menu name is displayed after that there is just sub menu query that is fetched with menu ID so let me show you in database in user table I have added three users and after that let me create a new table for department in which I'm going to create column first one is department ID second one is department name and third one is going to be department status and that's going to be enabled by default so our table is created now we are now we need to insert some data into table so I'm writing department admin after that accounts and last department I am adding is HR so after adding now I need to change into user table so you can see there is department name right now so I am changing it to department ID so let's change all three users now I need to define my menu is in which department so for that I am going to create a column in table submenu with name submenu department with type where care. So after adding the column in my submenu I am going to add same department in my submenu add panel. So I need to insert the department for menu. So let's open the file for some menu. And at the bottom of the form, write a select in which I am like fetching the department from department table. So I have to write a query from like in which like select star from department where department status equals to enable so in after fetching that i'm going to pass as a option value like pass the department id and option text display department name uh, okay let's check so it's coming after the submit button so i need to move the select above my submit button so just cut the submit and paste at the bottom so now let's again check it in the browser we have three entries in department table so now let's 
pass department into DB file. So for that, change the name of select to department ID and get the value in variable. So after that, pass the variable into the query for insert. And let's check it in browser if it's working or not. So in add submenu for category with submenu name category add and in department I'm going to add is admin. In table submenu ID for department is submitted. So department is stored successfully in some menu. Now I'm just adding some more menus and different department. So another menu I'm adding is category edit in category menu. So let me, I'm going to add that in department admin. After that add, I'm adding a menu for salary. That is main menu I'm adding. Add some menu for salary. So first one I'm going to add is salary generate menu. In HR department I'm going to add. After adding salary generate. Next I'm going to add is salary paid. And that I'm going to add in accounts department. So I have added three like menu in three department admin, HR and accounts. So now let's display the department in table. So make a column for department in table and in query join the submenu table with department table on department id and display that in column and display department name over there that i'll be fetching with join so let's check that in browser and there you can see the department of some menu is displayed actually table is not responsive so let's create a div with class table responsive and again check now it's responsive so you can see now all the menus are displaying currently. There is no permission on those. So in code, I have just fetched menu from menu table and sub menu from sub menu table. So now you have to set the menu. Now like I have shown you till now that how you can set the menu department. And how you can display that now I'm going to show you so you can display that by user department now you will be having a login system and user ID stored in session so like I'll be passing manually so what you need to do is that whatever your user ID is fetch the department of that user check the user is in which department so only that department value menu will be displayed so I'm manually passing ID that is one after that fetch the department of user write query select star from user where user ID equals to login user and execute the query after that fetch the result and store the department into a variable that is user department so now we have department so now we need to 
fetch the same department in sub menu so in where write and that is sub menu dot sub menu department is equal to user department that i have stored in a variable so let's check it in browser so actually all menu are not coming so user is not having any sub menu and also salary so let me just check in table for sub menu if i'll refresh the sub menu table now you can see i have not added sub menu for three ids so i'm just passing any random like one two three because i have only three department so after passing refresh again sub menu page and now you can see all are there all three sub and user also is having user list so you can see add user is not there as it is in hr department and salary is not having any sub menu because it's only in hr and accounts department so what we can do is we can hide salary as there is no drop down in that so for that what we can do cut the query from bottom and paste it above your li and there write a line that is my sqli num rows so this will return the total number of rows if like sub menu is having any permission or not so we will count that and put a condition in if sub menu total is greater than 0 then only display the menu otherwise it will not display that menu so after putting the condition let's get back to the browser now you can see salary menu is gone as you can see it's only in hr and accounts department so let's me change the id to let's say 2 and again refresh so second is user having where is user table yeah user is having second so that's account department so account is having salary paid only so that's drop down is only displayed only one menu is displayed for accounts so now let me change for hr also so that's third user so i'll change it to three and again refresh you can see in user add user is there because that's in hr department and for salary salary generate is in hr department so that's how you can give permission department wise so now let me just quickly summarize what i have done first one is i have defined my sub menu is in which department and after that i have displayed according to user department only those menu i have displayed over here so in my next video i'm going to show you like how you can define sub menu in multiple departments and so i hope this video is helpful for you thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel